Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and welcome to the Makers with Heart March Mystery Envelope Challenge. This month, Jessica sent us an envelope full of these goodies, including um, papers from the Cake Day collection, some shimmer trim, um, this strip of pattern paper from an older collection, and um, a zip strip from the Cake Day collection. I decided to create um, a six by six layout since she sent these really nice large pieces that measured um, six inches. So here I am just cutting all of those pieces in half so I can use one on each side of the layout. And I'm even cutting the shimmer trim. So if you want a thinner line of shimmer, you can just simply um, put it in your paper trimmer and cut it in half just like paper. So part of the guidelines that she gave us for this month is that we could add white or black cardstock. So I cut down a piece of 12 by 12 to two six by six squares for my layout base. And I'm bringing in those strips of paper I cut just to try to make um, a fun border on the bottom. And I'm just playing around with the placement on those. And then I decided to bring in uh, the Cake Day scrapbooking stamp set. I've been playing with it for another project and I thought that would be really cute with the banners um, for this party themed layout that I'm doing. So I'm just going to stamp a little string in the upper left hand corner using black ink. Also part of this stamp set and thin cuts um, are these adorable little banners. So I already cut some out of the pattern paper that she sent and white cardstock and so I'm just going to stamp an outline um, on these just to bring those out a little bit more um, and that's just the cake day paper and then this one is just a white and I'm also going to add some wild berry ink um, in the center of that banner. Having the outline stamp set and also the solid stamp in this collection you can really customize your banner for any project that you're creating. So I'm going to go ahead and add those over to the left hand side. I'm just kind of placing things um, where I think they might look the best. These letters I actually cut from a thin cut. It's called Block Alphabet and it's actually in the clearance section right now so you can get a killer deal on this thin cut that cuts out these amazing letters that they're about um, an inch and a half in size so they're perfect for scrapbooking. I'm just playing around with them just trying to decide if I want to layer them or what I want to do with the letters. I also stamped and colored that adorable little gnome. He is from the Party Gnomes stamp set and thick cut collection and um, I decided just to go ahead and start layering everything on the page. So I started with the green and then I'm going to layer the um, black pattern. I forget what the collection is. Um, it's one of our older Christmas ones if you can see a peak of those Christmas trees. And then the zip strip that I had cut in half. It's so cute. The zip strip with all the different colors. And that's where I got the color inspiration to color in the gnomes um, little uh, blower. So I quickly want to talk about this little trick with the shimmer trim. So the shimmer trim has like a clear backing and it's sometimes hard to get off. And so take a scrap piece of paper, put some adhesive on it, lay the shimmer trim right on top, and then you can easily, <laughs> easily peel off that backing um, to put on your project. So that's just a little tip that I've learned over the years with the shimmer trim. So I'm just going to trim off the little extras and um, with my micro tip scissors. And then I think I'm ready to go ahead and add the other elements. So I'm just adding some thin 3D foam to the back of the gnome. Um, I will put the colors that I use, the markers um, that I use to color him in the description of the video. There's quite a few. because There's so many fun colors on that zip strip. And also in the Cake Day collection, it's just so bright and fun. And then I'll add some 3D foam to the banners as well. And I like to use thin so it doesn't add too much bulk to my pages. And then we're going to go ahead and 
um, I think I decide to <laughs> I had to switch them. Um, I wanted to switch them um, so the green wasn't right next to the green. But then I ended up not using the green letters, as you'll see in just a minute. Um, I'm taking some photo place mats and adding them. Uh, trying to decide where it would be best to place them on this layout. These are three by four in size and also a two by two. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the letters. And I decided not to layer them. I'm just going to do the black so they stand out more. And then, of course, I mismatched where I wanted to put those, but I can scoot them over using that liquid glue. Um, because it takes a minute to dry so it gives you a little bit of wiggle room when you're creating. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up um, so I'm just laying everything down and then I'm bringing in uh, some accents. Part of the challenge is that we could use wild berry accents um, to go along with it. I brought in the ribbon, it's, it was too thick um, and also some sequins and some dots and flower sequins. So there's a lot of options. Um, here I decided that those photos needed a mat. So I'm just cutting down some black cardstock because we could use white and black in our um, design. And I'm just going to layer them behind my photo place mats. So thank goodness for repositionable glue <laughs> so or adhesive so I can um, easily take those off my project and back them with some black cardstock. I think it will make the pictures pop a little bit more and also will um, coincide with the title that is in black. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those back on in their spots and um, layer those on the black. So now comes the fun part of adding all the accents. So I'm going through with the dots and the flowers and also the sequence. And of course I grabbed my pickup tool that I love to use with the sequins. And I decided to use the sequins kind of as confetti across the layout. Um, the cute little gnome has a blower, so my idea was to spread them out so they kind of look like they are being blown across the layout. That was my idea anyway. If it looks like that in the end, I'm not really sure, but that was my thoughts on adding the sequins across the layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed that up a little bit um, so you don't have to watch me place every single sequence. And I'm just choosing a variety of shapes and colors of sequins to go across the layout. Alright, so here is my finished project, a 6x6 six six layout to add to my mini album. Um, the other girls with the Makers with Heart collaboration got the same amazing envelope from Jessica. So make sure and go and check out what they created on their channels. I will put um, a link in the description and also a playlist at the end of this video so you can just easily click on it. If you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up, maybe leave me a comment, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our next Makers with Heart collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.